Okay, this is question number 43. The question says, a similar cell sells adult tickets and child tickets. The total cost of three adult tickets and one child ticket is £30. Okay, so an adult ticket, um, three adult tickets, one child ticket, cost £30. The total cost of one adult ticket and three child tickets is £22. Work out the cost of an adult ticket, the cost of a child ticket. Okay, once you look at this question, and you should recognize that you need to use simultaneous equations to actually solve this. Okay, so we're going to form and solve. We're going to say one adult ticket or an adult ticket is A, a child ticket is C, right? So three adult tickets, that's going to be 3A. One child ticket, that's going to be 1C. And means they add up to, and they said that they that cost us thirty pounds. So I could form this equation: three a plus one c is equal to thirty. One adult ticket and three child ticket. That's one a and three c. One a plus three c is twenty two pounds. So one a plus three c equals twenty two pounds. To form that equation, those are my equations formed. Okay. The first I'm going to call equation one, the second I'm going to call equation two, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on getting rid of the C's, okay, the second thing in, and that's that's really something quite conventional, we use that in class. We're going to times the first equation by three, because that's in front of the C in the second equation, and the second equation, we're going to times it all by one, right, pretty much keep it the same. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Equation 1, we're going to times it by 3. Every single term by 3. So 3a times 3 is 9a. 1c times 3 is 3c. And 30 times 3 is 90. Times everything. Don't forget to times the number. The second equation, we're going to times it by 1, which means it's going to stay pretty much the same. Okay, now we've got the c's the same, identical. Well, it's 3C and 3C. What I'm going to do now is to look at that. I'm going to decide whether I need to add or take away. So look at these two signs in the middle, right? The pluses, and think about stop. If you're the same, you take away. If they're opposite, you plus. They are the same, so we are going to take away. 9A, take away 1A is 8A. 3C, take away 3C is nothing. They should ca always cancel out, and you will have nothing. 92 take away 80, uh, 92, 90 take away 22 is 68. Okay, so at this stage I need to do this division. 68 divided by 8. So let's think about this. Many of you would go to the bus stop method, right? And you'd go 68 divided by 8. 8 goes into 68. How many times? It doesn't go exactly. It goes eight times, eight whole times. Eight times eight is 68. And the remainder, sorry, eight times eight is 64. Eight times eight is 64. And the remainder is four. Okay. If I think about that, I need to write that as a fraction or a mixed number in this case. So I have eight whole. Four is my remainder. And remember, I was divided by 8. Okay, so this particular fraction, I could simplify, right? 4 over 8, I could make simpler, I could half it, or I could even divide them both by 4, right? If I divide 4 by 4, I get 1. If I divide 8 by 4, I get 2. So actually, 68 divided by 8 is 8 and a half. In other words, 8. 0.5. Okay, I'm going to use 0.5 because I'm talking about money here, and we can, should be able to recognize that 8.5 actually means eight pounds fifty. So my value for a is going to be 8.5. That is going to end up in my answer space, and when I write it there, I, I need to write it as pounds. Remember, there's a pound sign over there, so I'm going to write it as eight pounds fifty when I get there. Now I need to work out the value of c. Okay, so look at one of the equations, right, or pick one of the equations. Both of these have pluses, but if you're doing one in the exam, pick out one, preferably, 
that has all pluses or easier looking numbers, smaller numbers, that will help. In this case, I could have picked either one. I'm going to pick the first one. Okay, 3a plus 1c is equal to 30. And I'm going to replace a with 8.5 because that's what I've worked out. You have to use the value of a that you've worked out previously. So I'm going to do three lots of three times 8.5 plus 1c is equal to 30. Go off to one side and add three lots of 8.5. Right? Be careful as you're doing this. Don't actually just do it in a rushed way. Right? In your head, write it down. Make sure you do it properly. So eight, so five, five, five. That's fifteen. Put five down. Carry one. Um, one and eight is nine. Nine and eight is seventeen. Seventeen and eight is twenty-five. All the numbers are to one decimal place. So if you just line them up properly around the decimal places, that's what I'm going to get. Twenty-five point five. So twenty-five point five plus one C is thirty. I need to take away 25.5 from 30. That should be pretty straightforward. That's going to be 4.5. So that's my result. 1C. I'm just going to divide by 1, the number in front of C there. It doesn't make a difference. C is 4.5. So 1C is 4.5. Uh, £4.50. That's what I'm going to write in the answer space. So in the answer space, for an adult ticket, £8.50. For a child ticket, Four pounds fifty. Make sure you write it as money, as I indicated earlier. The pound signs over there, so they want you to write it as money. In the actual exam, you are very likely to to get more than four marks for this. It's quite a challenging question. There's a lot here. Right? Make sure you do understand it. Make sure you can do it.